So friends, the last three videos or last two before this one was talking about Dr. Nick and we've really not talked about uh, Dr. Nick's uh, relationship with Elvis. I'm actually heading to his house on Cottingham that Elvis helped him buy. The reason he had to help him buy it was he, the house was so highly valued for even for this high dollar neighborhood that the banks would not loan money on it. They thought that, uh, that it wouldn't work even here. So Elvis actually loaned him $200,000 in 1975 to, to start the construction and ended up giving him another 55,000. So 255,000. And they, there's some people that claim that they didn't draw up the paperwork and actually sign the papers, but I found a, a signature of Elvis and Dr. Nick and Vernon and, uh, and Edna, all of them together right here. So if you start at the top, you see George Nicopolis, Edna Nicopolis, parties of the first part, meaning the, uh, the first part of the mortgage, Elvis Presley and Vernon Presley per the power of attorney party for the second part. So they're the, the lender and the borrower. And if you'll notice that it says per power of attorney by Vernon Presley, that could be Vernon signing Elvis's name after Elvis passed, which is the way the story goes. And the way the story goes was that Dr. That Elvis had given him the money at 7% interest and that Vernon had changed it to 8% interest after Elvis passed and told him if he was late on any payments, he would absolutely come take the house and without question. So uh, he kind of threatened him there. And as of June the 27th, 1979, which wasn't quite uh, uh, two years, probably a year and a half after uh, the note was signed, he still owed 245000 on the house as an aside. So friends, let's talk about the arrangement. A lot of people don't realize, you know, or don't think about how did Elvis pay Dr. Nick? The answer is he paid Dr. Nick when they were on tour, $800 a day for his services, which lasted for 10 to 20 days. He also paid the doctors that Dr. Nick worked for, uh, the practice a thousand dollars a day while he was gone to cover that. So between 1970 and 1977, he paid Dr. Nick more than 76,000 for his services on the road and 147,000 to the medical group. And this is a prescription that Dr. Nick wrote Elvis uh, in June of 1977. And I believe that's a muscle relaxer. And you can see at the top, it says the medical group and it's got 1734 Madison Avenue, which is that building I showed you in the first video. And then on the left, you see that is the line of all the doctors and there's even DEA numbers, ironically, for the Drug Enforcement Agency numbers for those doctors to be able to write prescriptions. And look, I realize that those numbers sound kind of crazy, but what that is is only when Elvis was physically on tour, which was about 95 times that he went with him or 95 days. And he was also doing other stuff when they weren't on tour, so he had to pay the uh, group for that and, of course, pay Dr. Nick in other ways with cars and trips and guns and badges and all kinds of stuff so he had a lot of what i call french benefits which we all know are fringe benefits we oui, we oui. i believe that is the house right there Fifty-five, sixty-four, or 65 65 64. i believe this in fact is the house and it looks abandoned to me so friends this is in fact the house kitchen is hideous looking. Wow, that blue kitchen. And he just passed away a little over a year ago.
building. And this house was completed in 1977, which is when Elvis passed, but it has very much has Elvis signatures in it. The TV built in the wall, the bar. Swimming pool. So friends, you know that they built a racquetball court at Elvis's house. This is what it looks like right behind Graceland. And the uh, this was built before the Coddington house, not much before. So it's definitely got some things that are reminiscent of uh, this racquetball court that are in uh, Dr. Nick's house, the bar being one example. This is the bar in the racquetball court. And then the bar in Dr. Nick's house, they're both very, very similar, as in they're kind of tucked over in the corner. They both have that small sink, all those things. And then this is a bar that was in uh, one of the houses out in L.A., but I don't think that this bar was in that house when Elvis was there. And this uh, rock work is reminiscent of uh, Dr. Nick's house. You can see the way those rocks look, very similar to Dr. Nick's house. And there's the outside, that's where the chapel's at, that little spot right there. And you can see the... You can see the stained glass of Jesus on this side. House has a newer roof on it. Pool has seen better times. So friends, I freeze frame that wall right there and you see that shelf and the intercom right there. I'm going to show you a picture of Dr. Nick in his recliner and you can see that shelf right behind him and the intercom just to the left of it. Right there behind him, I'm going to zoom in. You see the intercom is that little black square right there, a black rectangle, and that's the edge of that shelf. So he is sitting in the living room facing towards the sliding glass doors towards the pool right here. And then you got the ever popular TVs in the walls and let's look at the one in Dr. Nick's house. I would speculate that's a TV just like Elvis would have or did have. Somebody's turned the racquetball cord on. Inside the racquetball court, friends. Then the Coppola's family is who got Elvis into racquetball.
then he's got a, a room here, a sunroom, like a solarium. This is very Elvis looking. I would say this house is stuck in the 70s. It looks like they built it in the 70s, 77, and it stayed. I would assume this was his office. With the intercom. And I think he must have had a chair that was hitting the corner of the wall right here behind his desk. Master bedroom. And Elvis had these in Graceland. A lot of this kind of stuff. And boy, look at all those lights, switches. So he's got tons of switches. Shoe rack. Bathroom with the shower, with the seat in it. Still soap in it. There's a hers bathroom, and he had one of those walk-in bathtubs installed. Interesting curtains here, friends. You see, they have is that chicken. Yeah, that's a chicken or a rooster, and it has like maybe samurais on it or Chinese people. Rickshaw. That was definitely master bedroom. It's a big house. Oh, a prayer room. Interesting. So in March of 1977, Elvis took uh, Ginger Alden, as you can see, Edna Nicopolis, George Nicopolis, all his entourage, everybody went to Hawaii, and they checked in originally to the uh, Hilton Rainbow Tower, and after about two days there, they moved to a beach house at Kalua on the west side of Oahu. And Elvis bought Edna this Mother of Pearl um, cross to crucifix to go in that prayer room right there. That's where it went. And here's another picture of them out by the swimming pool at the house, enjoying theirself. And the guy to the far right in the burgundy shorts, I'm pretty confident is Dean Nicopolis that you saw in some of the prior videos, Dr. Nick and Edna's son, Dean. And that's Elvis in uh, March of 1977. And the guy that you see with kind of the Afro to the left-hand side, is Al Strada, and I believe that's his girlfriend. Then to the right of Elvis is Dr. Nick laying down, Edna sitting up, and of course, as I mentioned, Dean right there in the burgundy shorts. And sadly, this was Elvis's last time in Hawaii, friends, right here this vacation. Blue sinks in the 70s. This would have been the cat's meow, friends. Made very much like Graceland. A lot of buildings.
come on in Elvis but Elvis may have never come through the front door I know Nick said and you see that's an emergency button but Do I mean not Nick but Dean said that Elvis came in the house when it was being constructed but never after it was finished And these doors open to down there. Had central vac. Somebody's coming here and turn a lot of lights on. Tons of closets on cedar line. I'm sure any clothes and stuff that Elvis would have given him would be in this room. room was built specifically for Elvis to stay as a getaway. And you can see that it has the intercom here. You can push it and talk to Dr. Nick. Had this closet and this bathroom. But this was the bedroom that was built specifically for Elvis in this house. Turns out Elvis had something to do with the design of this house. But this looks like a cross between Graceland and Elvis's house in, in LA. The one he rented. This is what it looks like behind the bar. There's lights that lit that up. So there you go, friends, a tour inside. And a TV just like Elvis would have had it. And friends, this was very much like Elvis had at his house. A talk and listen had a radio built into it, a whole house radio. And this is how they adjusted the intercom volumes. So you can see the study. I guess that would have been his office. Um, Elvis' room would have been that one, which says it's number five. You see it's got the E on it. P, I don't know what that is. Patio den, master bedroom, sewing room. And that says kiss. So I don't know what that is. Huh. Back bedroom, living room. Bedroom two, king. And that may be the bedroom two, king. That may be Elvis's room upstairs. But I don't know what the E and the P stand for. So his children were Dean, Melissa, and Alexis. So I don't see... That may be Melissa's bedroom, but I would assume that's master bedroom. So that's his back bedroom with the D. So is that Dean? So, I don't know, friends. Interesting, though.
and that mailbox clearly says 6564 on everything that I read it says 5564 and the mailbox across the street is 6567 so it's definitely 65 not 55 tighten up friends every chance you get So just a final few notes here. Uh, Dr. Nick was actually born in Ridgeway, Pennsylvania, and him and his family moved to Anniston, Alabama when he was an infant. His dad, which was a Greek immigrant, opened a restaurant called Gus's Sanitary Cafe. And he was actually in the Army, Dr. Nick was, from 1946 to 48, and studied at the University of the South, re received a BS degree in 1951, and then his MD at Vanderbilt University School of Medicine, 1959, Nashville, Tennessee. So friends, Dr. Nick passed away in February of 2016, and him and his wife Edna passed away April the 3rd, 2017, almost uh, uh, just a little over a year later. They were married for 62 years and uh, had a bunch of amazing kids, and you saw Dean. Dean is, is a fantastic storyteller. And I hope to get a lot more stories from Dean and hope y'all get his DVD and check him out. Thank you so much for watching, friends. So friends, I have some good news. This home was actually purchased and refurbished by uh, some guys there. I think the guy's name is Jim there in, uh, in Memphis. This house is been brought up to look beautiful. Look at this. This is the living room that was so dark before. It's very modern, very beautiful, dark wood. It's just exquisite. Look at, look at that bar over there. Fantastic. You can rent this house on Airbnb for $800 a night right now. Now, in years, you may watch this video and it's gone up, but at this moment, it's that. It sleeps 14 people. It's got seven bedrooms, 10 beds, and six and a half baths. And you've got a racquetball court here, a working swimming pool, all the things that you could just imagine, and even Elvis's bedroom. Look at this bedroom. This is a bedroom fit for a king right here, friends. And you can even go to the meditation room and pray, or you can go jump in that swimming pool. So make sure you check them out on Airbnb.